What's up subscribers and subscribers to be? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you already been to the channel before, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the best time to buy stocks, what I look for when I'm buying stocks, and just how I buy, how I go about um, purchasing my stocks. Before I begin, I want to start off by saying that this can definitely differ from investor to investor, um, depending on how you like to invest in stocks and the methods that you go about doing so. Um, the way that you buy may be a little bit different. Uh, me, myself, I'm a long-term investor, so I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I personally go about doing that. When I'm purchasing stocks, I look for four basic signs first before I do anything else. The first of those four basic signs is going to be the stock's P.E. ratio. A stock's P.E. ratio um, is its price to earnings ratio. In order to get this, I'll put it up on the screen. You basically divide a company's yearly earnings by the number of outstanding shares that it has. Or you divide the share price by the earnings per share price. The average P.E. ratio for the stock market, um, especially when you're looking at the S&P, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, etc., is about 15. So when I'm buying stocks, I try to find them in that 15 P.E. ratio area or I try to get them slightly below. If a company is growing, I will accept a slightly higher P.E. ratio, but I would prefer for that ratio to be um, around 15 or under 15. The next thing that I look for is whether or not a company is profitable. Anytime I purchase a stock, I want to definitely make sure that that stock is making money and I also want to make sure that they're doing it consistently. The only time I don't follow this rule is if I'm looking for a relatively new growth stock and if that stock is growing, I still want to look at its revenue numbers and see that they're moving towards profitability uh, within the near future. For instance, I did this with Tesla stock and I'm currently doing this with Uber stock. The third thing that I look for is I make sure that the company has a good CEO. A good CEO is one of the most important things that a company can have. Of course, the person who is leading a company is going to decide where the company is, is going. So it's important that you have a CEO who makes good decisions and has a good vision for the future. If you watch my channel, often you'll notice that I talk about Tesla a lot. Obviously, they have Elon Musk. If you're looking at Uber, I can't remember the name of their owner right now, but it's definitely a great owner. Um, if you're looking at Alibaba, you have Jack Ma. If you're looking at Amazon, they have a great CEO. So always make sure your stock has a good CEO, a good chain of leadership, um, and all that good stuff. And the fourth basic thing that I check for, I look at the stock's 52-week low as well as their 52-week high. The reason that I look at this is just because, for the most part, I want to see how a company is doing. Aside from the past year, which is the 52 weeks, I try to look further into, um, into the past as possible just to kind of see where their numbers are normally at. I never want to buy a company when it's close to its 52-week high because typically if a company is close to its 52-week high, uh, more than likely it's going to go down soon. I try to purchase somewhere in between these two numbers. Let's say, for instance, there's a company that has a 52-week um, high of $40 and a 52-week low of $20, I'm going to try to purchase this company anywhere between $30 and down. Okay, so aside from my basic buying principles, I have a few extra tips for you guys. Uh, my first tip is to buy stocks as they dip and not in the dip. What I mean by that is let's say you have a stock that's peaked, about to go down, and about to go back up. If you have a stock that's going through this, in my opinion, if you're a long-term purchaser, a long-term holder, if you purchase right here and you really believe in a company, if a company is going down, it's best to buy all while this company is going down. The reason being is because a stock can shoot up extremely quickly and you don't want to miss out once that stock starts to go back up. This trend happened recently with Tesla. Um, Tesla was down, do it a little bit differently. Tesla was up, Tesla went down, Tesla kind of came back up, it dropped down again. Me personally, I started buying at the time when it came down, went back up. I think it was at about 400 right here. As it went down, 
to 180, I was buying all the way down. As it got, as it came back up to 900, I think it was like 950, 960, it did this in a relatively short amount of time. So I only had a chance to purchase one stock in this time period, but I was buying in a dip all while it was going down. This is why I say it's always the best to buy a stock as it dips and not in the dip, because most of the time in the dip is too late. All right, so my second tip for you guys is to buy stocks when they're down for no reason. When I mean that they're down by no reason, I mean to buy stocks when um, the stock has recently went down due to no fault of company activity itself. Um, an example of this would be back in, um, I want to say late 2018, early 2019, when Elon Musk released his tweets um, about going private as well as doing the video with Joe Rogan smoking. Um, it didn't really affect what the company was doing as far as production, what their future vision was, but um, a lot of owners, a lot of investors and short sellers didn't like that, so they decided to go low on the stock. Once these people went low on the stock, the stock went back up. That's typically what, ha what happens. The stock is going to bounce back because the company is still going strong. So when you see a company going down and there's no big issue going on with the company, in my opinion, is typically a good time to purchase. My third tip for you guys, um, it's a really famous saying, I don't know who originated it, but um, it's buy when there's blood in the streets. Um, typically you wanna buy stocks, like I said earlier, when the stocks go down, when there's nothing actually going awry with the company. So what I, when I say buy when there's blood in the streets, if you have something going on such as this trade war, um, the coronavirus, some kind of disease, anytime there's something going on that the world is upset about or there's blood in the streets, typically stocks are going to go down and you can get them at a discounted price. And typically once that issue is over with, those stocks are going to bounce back up and you can make a little bit of money off of buying in the deal. You can also see this tip kind of in effect right now with um, Facebook. They're kind of sitting suppressed due to some of the things that are going on in the news currently, as well as about a year ago. And Alibaba, you're looking at the, um, the coronavirus, suppressing it, as well as the trade war over the past year or so. With that being said, these are my basic principles when I'm buying stocks, as well as a few bonus tips. If you have some personal tips that you'd like to put out there, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. If you have any comments on the video, let me know anything that you'd like to add. Let me know in the comment section. Um, as I always say in my videos, if you're looking for a way to get into the stock market, definitely check out the Robinhood app. There's a link below in my description. If you use my link, you can get a free stock. Kind of think of it as my gift um, to you for watching the video and spending this time with us. And with that being said, thank you for your time and have a great day. I'm with the bag, go get the money. Count that cat and back to the money, put that on repeat. Go get the bag, go get the bag, and now we coming. If you really bought your money, put a dollar in the app. If you really bought your hustle, put a dollar in the app. You ain't taking else with nothing, put a dollar in the app. You ain't got no hustle muscle, get the